Today I'm going to do a quick video on the Leader LP11 in-circuit uh, probe tester basically. Uh, you don't have to remove the, for example, if you want to test a transistor, you don't have to remove it from the circuit. This thing has got three sharp here probes on it and they're color coded so you know um, what, what they're for basically. Like for example, one's for the collector, one's for the base, and one is for the emitter. And of course that just plugs into here. It's got these banana type plugs on the end and you just push that basically push that in there and uh, the setup here is you need for this basically as you do every time you use the curve tracer you, one end I use an alligator clip and the other has got another one of these uh, banana type plugs and one is for the vertical and we need a little wire for the ground. There's two grounds, but you only need to have one. Uh, one hooked up. You just got to make sure everything is tied together. And, of course, this one here, this says here, right here, on the right here, that's horizontal. And, basically, you put the scope into XY mode. And then, the horizontal the probe from the horizontal then from the X uh, basically X marking on the oscilloscope is tied together with this and the Y is tied together with this so this is my X and that's going to be hooked up to the key basically the cable the wire rather um, coming from the horizontal output of the curve tracer see what we got here so basically we gotta just make that connection and then this was that ground I was talking about coming from the curve tracer and we just hooked the scope ground and the same thing for the uh, other probe and here I, I like to set mine up this way. I've got the gain now. It's at point, point 0.1 uh, volts um, for both vertical and horizontal. And this all ends up looking like that. As good as I can get it because my workbench is super small. Here can be seen I'm on a 10 volts. That's the lowest. And over here too, my base current is... Uh, 10 um, microamperes and of course this is all self-explanatory if it's an NPN transistor you put in the NPN posi position if it's a signal transistor limit to current um, I think it's 2SC458 uh, yeah I think it could probably still go as a signal and here power transistor so basically self-explanatory so I finally get I got the test uh, prongs to make correct contact and you can see here I'm getting what's called a family of curves here and offhand I would say this transistor is good it's not going to look like it does if say we tested it out of circuit because of all the other um, components on the circuit board affecting the waveform we're seeing here so let me go ahead and try another transistor so here's the next transistor I'm looking at and I would venture to say this one is good too so basically that's how that works I think as long as you get this um, family of curves here you're you're gonna be okay now here you can see the actual the probe in position um, I'm holding the camera in my left hand that's why it's shaking a little bit and all you have to do basically is bring it in position. I, I looked up this transistor, which is, was a 2SC, I think, 458. And then I could tell which pin was the emitter, which was the base, and which was the collector. And then I just had to match the colors here. I think here uh, the yellow prong is for the uh, emitter, the blue one for the collector, and the green one for the base. Now if we had a short, say, between collector and emitter, um, 
I just hooked up two alligator clips across these prongs here, these prods, and um, sh shorted it together. And we we'll see we've got a vertical line. And of course, an open, in my case, would be a horizontal line. So what we're looking for when we test the transistor is that uh, family of curves, as I basically explained. So I'm going to do one last test with a diode on another board. This board here. Um, so let me go ahead and get things hooked up. And here we can go ahead and see the diodes actually uh, conducting right there. I haven't, I'm not sure whether I just calibrated this thing, but I know one thing though, the diode is actually functioning, which is probably all I'm, probably all I would be interested in if I was actually checking something, uh, checking something out. Let me check the other diode. If I can get the, here you can still, see, you can see that knee down there, not conducting, conducting. So, um, yeah, I guess it is usable to a certain extent. Only problems I have is getting the messing with these prongs and getting them on there. I thought that was kind of a kind of a headache. But I guess if you do it all the time, you probably get used to doing it this way. Uh, anyways, I just wanted to show what else this leader curve tracer and this probe was capable of. Thanks for watching.